Okay guys, that was a great end to the domestic season. Really happy with how we started this Champions League group. Okay, we've got two big games coming up. But I've got scout reports, so I'm sure we can beat these guys. Europa League defending champions, Eric Ten Hag, I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's just keep our spells in that top spot, boys. Come on. And welcome to episode number 124 of Husavik Heroes here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well and coming up in today's episode. We continue the group stage of the 2031-32 Champions League. We take on the defending Europa League champions Leicester City at home and follow that up with a trip to Spain to take on Eric Ten Hag's Real Sociedad. So if you are looking forward to today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying this series here on the channel also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well it is greatly appreciated but this is what the group looks like off the back of the first game of it in yesterday's episode against Ross County we picked up a free one win at home if you missed that episode which also included the Icelandic Cup final where we did claim a quadruple I'll leave a link to that over in the top right corner but we did just have to wrap up the domestic season properly off the back of that Molka Bickering final in yesterday's episode despite the fact that we did already have the league title well and truly under our wraps and we did pick up two pretty comfortable wins to wrap up the domestic season 5-1 away at Prada Reykjavik and then 4-1 at home against Akranes so yet again we do go through the domestic season here unbeaten just that annoying draw there that we did suffer during that international break that we decided to play through means that yet again we didn't quite complete a perfect season but we do win the title by 12 points HK, Breda Blick and Phil Kier who we did defeat yesterday in the Molka Bikram final that doesn't hurt them at all because in the end they claim that fourth spot anyway and will be in conference league qualifying for next season but luckily throughout those games we did suffer no injuries at all so we are at full strength going in to the second game of the Champions League group stage taking on the teams that did draw in the other game on that first match week. First up, we do have the Europa League champions in Leicester City at home being a Premier League team. These are going to be tough guys for us to beat, especially considering they did beat Arsenal in the Europa League final last season and Arsenal are the team that did knock us out of that Europa League in the second knockout round. As we ran through a few episodes ago, they do have a good young team here at Leicester City, despite the fact you might not recognise most of the names in these teams these days, I do have some very good young new gens as well as some familiar names in there like Millier in goal, Goncalves and Ndidi still in the midfield for them. So it's a pretty good Leicester City team. We'll see what we can do against these guys at home. As I said, the defending Europa League champions as well as the reigning Super Cup champions. And they did win the FA Cup last year in game as well. So this will be a good test for us off the back of that fairly comfortable win against Ross County in yesterday's episodes. These games coming up in today's one could be quite important in determining exactly where we might finish in this group come the end of group play here in this season's Champions League but we'll come back shortly with our first choice 11 and see what we can do here against Leicester City at the Laugalas Villa. And here are the team sheets for the first game of today's episode there is our lineup as I said before we are at full strength for this one no suspensions or injuries to worry about there is what Leicester City do look like. Let me know down below if you still want to see these team sheets because these days we are getting to the point of the save where there are quite a lot of new gens in these teams so you might not be too familiar with who they are anyway but we'll see how we do here at home against the defending Europa League champions. And our first highlight does come at the 8 minute mark. It is inside their own box here. Leicester City try and play out from the back in their grey with the black shorts and the salmon socks I believe you would call those but we get the ball back Rather shortly, Frederick Larson with a chance, but it's that straight at Melier in goal there for Leicester City. A good goalkeeper, of course, currently at Leeds in real life, has made the move to Leicester City. And the save, Thiago Polo gets his head on the end of that corner, but it goes well and truly high and over the bar. But we do have another highlight starting right off the back of that. Hopefully, yet again, we can get position back shortly off the back of this restart from Leicester City. And Lee Van Tam is the man who gets us the ball back here. Dumbia plays that back 
to Bassero Gay and Thiago Polo plays that all the way back to Huel Lurvik. We have changed back to a standard defensive line now too off the back of that rather shaky start against Ross County in yesterday's episode. Some good work there from Matthias Aguirre to get us back in position. He makes the run, tucks that into the bottom right corner. Lovely ball that from Kenny Boreal. And after 10 minutes, it is Bolsunga 1, Leicester City nil. This would be a great result. Would put us in a really good spot after only two games played in this group. Great work there from our striker to get the ball back. We get it out to Kenny Boreal. And he continues to make a run. Good finish there. Not quite sure what Malia is doing with that save. But we go 1-0 up here nice and early. And up to the 22-minute mark for our next highlight, Nicholas Zimmerman was on the attack. It's a good side tackle there from Vincent, but we do get possession back here so far. We're looking quite good early stats-wise in this one, so hopefully that continues for most of these 90 minutes, albeit no doubt Leicester are going to have a good period, but Frederick Larson, yet again, Kenny Boreal will pick up an assist, and this is a dream start for us here at the Laugardas Villa in the white, not quite snowing here in Iceland just yet at this time of the year, but we have started here in white hot form. Frederick Larson just beats Malier there at the near post, and we are already 2-0 up here about halfway through the first half, and shortly off the back of that second goal for us, it is a corner here for Leicester City, and Stunner Yev is able to get his head on the end of that. Somehow we can't keep that out at the near post, and Leicester City have been poked into life here. I think it is fair to say someone there misses the header. I think it's Thiago Polo. Bussero Gay, for some reason there, is at the near post. I might have to sort that out shortly because he really should be in the mix of there towards the near post trying to deal with those balls into the box, being the big tall lad that he is. But Leicester City do grab a goal back, although there might be a good chance here for Frederick Larson to re-establish the two-goal lead. And indeed, he does it. We are on absolute fire early in this one. We strike an instant reply and Leicester City are back being two goals down. It's a brilliant response from us there. Bassero Gay up to Matthias Aguirre. Sees the one of Frederick Larson, pumps it into the bottom right corner. And just like that, it's 3-1 Volsunga after 26 minutes. And just as we do enter injury time here in the first half, it is a throw and for Leicester City. Just spent a fair bit of time there sorting out our defensive set pieces. So Bassero Gay is actually in the mixer instead of being at the near post. I'll try and sort that out in the set piece thing to save it for all future games off the back of this too. But Leicester City find themselves in a lot of space here. Down the left-hand side, and the goal scorer somehow misses the target there. That was a great chance to get that back to a one-goal deficit going in to half-time. But that is a really, really good first half from us here against the Europa League champions. 3-1 up in terms of the stats. We are just slightly dominating things as well. So I think that scoreline, it might flatter us just a little bit, but we will take it. We're going to make one change here at halftime. Thiago Polo on a yellow card, Elias Anderson, to play the second 45 minutes because of that. But very happy with what I'm seeing. Free one up here as we start the second 45 minutes. And just under 10 minutes into the second half, we do have our first highlight of it. We play a ball over the top there, but Leicester City are going to look to play out from the back. But Lev Van Tam gets an interception, and the young Lasana Dumbia. Starts to make his way for good short passing from us here. Aguirre up to Kalen. Rakasan puts that into the left-hand side of goal. And we are starting to absolutely batter Leicester City here. It is fair to say we are 4-1 up. And hopefully that will be enough to get the job done here. Albeit with around about 40 minutes left. It was some good short passing there. After Lev Van Tam got the ball back for us. Kalen Rakasan puts that away. And we are now three goals up here early in the second half. And up to the 67 minute mark, we're going to make our last two substitutions with two players going down to Red Heart. So I think we have this game pretty well under control. So Karel Giroud will come on there for Lasana Dumbia, who has performed well. And also Nicholas Zimmerman is on a Red Heart. Chaka Traore to come on for him for these last 20 minutes or so, as we do still hold a 4-1 lead. And up to the 69 minute mark, not too long off the back of those substitutions. We did just have a free kick, but it wasn't too threatening there. For Chaka Traore, so Leicester are going to try and play out from the back here from that goal kick, which they do take short, but Karel Giroud does get possession back for us here, and we start to flood forward, and it is going to be Giroud with a chance, makes that a tight angle, though, just puts that the wrong side of the post, and it does remain 4-1 Volsunga, but really Leicester City have struggled since they did get the goal there from that set piece, and Karel Giroud gets on the end of that clearance there 
from Malier Giroud just on the edge of the box. And therefore, Chaka Traore, they do deal with it. But Aguirre will slide tackle that into the back of the net. Matombo has had an absolute howler there. And that will surely wrap things up. Here we are now 5-1 up against the Europa League champions. Some good sustained pressure over the last few highlights. Chaka Traore's shot comes off the post. Not too sure what Matombo is doing there. Aguirre just slide tackles that into the bottom left corner. 5-1 Volsinger with 20 minutes left. And we are into injury time in this game so far. Nothing happening inside the last 20 minutes. Kaelin Rakasan has picked up a little orange injury. Hopefully that's not too serious, but that is a great result. We have six points from our first two games and have just defeated the reigning Europa League champions there. 5-1 at home. It was an absolute battering. We were very clinical with our chances, even if they did absolutely gift us a few of them, but we bounced back nicely after they did grab that goal back in the first half to make it interesting. At 2-1, we struck an instant reply, and from there, really, they never got in the game off the back of that. It's a very good performance, gives us a lot of confidence that we should be able to hopefully get our way into the Champions League knockouts for the second time in this save. We are in a nice position now with those six points from our first two games. We did have the early kickoffs. We're going to have to wait and see what did happen between Real Sociedad and Ross County, but we'll come back shortly, update you guys on that before we do play Real Sociedad in Spain in the second game of today's episode. And we are back right before the start of the second game of today's episode against Real Sociedad. We are still at full strength as well, so we're going to put out exactly the same team as what we did have there for that first game against Leicester City in the second game on that match week. The later kickoff, it was Real Sociedad there, picking up a 3-1 win against Ross County, who again got a red card in that one, and they have had the early kickoff on this third match week. It was a little bit closer for those guys this time, but they did still suffer a defeat 3-2 against Leicester at home. So this is what the group table does look like with us and Real Sociedad yet to play on this third match week, but no matter what happens, it should be both us and Real Sociedad inside those top two spots at the halfway stage of this Champions League group. So that's a great position considering that we have already played Leicester once. I think it would be fair to say that was the team who were probably expected to be on top of this group. It has been a great start for us so far in the Champions League this season. Let's see if that can continue here against Real Sociedad. A quick look at these guys before we do get into the game. Another four and a half star reputation club with Eric Ten Hag as their manager. So this could be quite an interesting one. They've got a few familiar names there. The likes of Oya Fabel, Isaac, why now? So it's a decent team here. Looks pretty similar in quality to the Leicester City team that we did just play. So in that regard, maybe we can pick up another one, albeit no doubt this will be a little bit tougher away from home. But we'll come back shortly and see if we can hold on to top spot in the group as we do take on Real Sociedad in Spain. And only one minute into this game, Real Sociedad do have a free kick. Presnil Kimpembe is there. At the near post, we do not deal with it. And they grab a very early goal here. Do Real Sociedad. That was not the start we wanted away from home. This is going to be a good test for us here. After so far, we've hit the ground running in these opening Champions League games. We go 1-0 down nice and early here away from home. And not too long off the back of that opening goal for Real Sociedad. We are in position in the black today. And down the end as we play that back to Basaroge. He switches it out to the right-hand side. For Levan Tam Zimmerman starts to get in behind. What can he do here? Squares it for someone. There was a cluster of bodies, but Frederick Larson continues some good goal scoring form in today's episode. And just like that, we have our reply. We get the scoreline back to even Stevens at one all. Another really good reply from us there off the back of grabbing that two goal advantage when things look like they might be getting interesting against Leicester in the prior game. But some good work there, and we get the scoreline back to all square after five minutes. And up to the 18 minute mark for our next highlight, it was Real Sociedad there who were in possession. Dumbia nearly got the ball back for us there, but they somehow end up with the ball back at their feet. A ball in behind there, trying to look for Mam, but some good work there from Lee Van Tam. And we do get position back here and look to play out from the back. Can we grab a lead here away from home? That would give us all sorts of confidence going about halfway through this Champions League group. And Matthias Aguirre, Tries to make his way there down the right-hand side, but Marino is able to get the ball back there for Real Sociedad. They play that back to Romero in goal. They pump this deep, but it is going to be Ali Ramadan who does get position back for us there, and we start to get something going, hopefully, here 
down our left hand side. We try and play that in behind Matthias Aguirre. It's a terrible mistake yet again from the opposition and for the second game in a row. Matthias Aguirre makes the most of it. It's an absolute cluster there between Kimpembe and the Real Sociedad goalkeeper. He makes the most of it and does a lovely little chip on that one. It's a, yeah, they just get very confused there. Do the defense of Real Sociedad. Well weighted chip that from Matthias Aguirre. And we are 2 1 up at the 20 minute mark. And only a few minutes off the back of grabbing the lead. We are back down the other end here for a corner to Real Sociedad. We head that clear though. And Nicholas Zimmerman tries to make his way down the right hand side, but a bit of a loose touch there. And Rosas is able to get the ball back there for Real Sociedad. Olaf Farbel gets on the end of that. And it is Alexander Isaac who gets in behind our defense. Tucks it away, and this is a very busy opening period here in Spain. And just like that, it is back to all square this time. Raul Sociedad grabbed the equaliser there. Captain Oya Fabel, nice ball in behind Ali Ramadan. Potentially could have done a little bit better there in their fast striker. And Alexander Isaac makes it to all about halfway through the first half. And up to the half hour mark, Raul Sociedad look like they are going to try and get the lead back here as they do have a throw -in inside our half and Mann is on the ball here as they try and get inside the final third good short passing Rodri plays that back out to now back in there for Rodri just goes over the bar and it does remain two all just past the half hour mark albeit not too long off the back of that previous highlight we do have a free kick of our own and that's a well-weighted ball out there to Nicholas Zimmerman plays that back to Lee Van Tam, who I think is actually playing a bit better than the 6.4 rating might suggest it's a good chance there for Zimmerman, but just goes wide still to all, just past the half hour mark. Yeah. And up to the 38 minute mark for the first time in a while, we are going to bust out the Mark Richardson because unfortunately Kenny Boreal has picked up a red injury. He will have to come off. Andy Harwood will come on for him just shy of half time. And that is half time in our first away game of the group stages of the Champions League. A really entertaining first 25 minutes there. Both teams picking up two goals, and we do go into the sheds. At two all, Ivan Tam is on a 6.2 out there. I don't think he's actually played that bad, but we just see here who the best replacement option is on the bench for us here because I'll just see what Nicholas Zimmerman can do as a right back, but I think Ian Carlo is going to be a much better replacement. So there will be our second sub use there at halftime, a change of both of our wing backs, but not too disappointed with how this is going. We're still in this at two all as we're about to kick off the second half. And only a few minutes into the second half here, we do have a free kick trying to put that at the far post, but no one is there. Romero will claim that nice and safely there for Real Sociedad. And they will maybe look to get something going here somewhat on the counter attack. They pump this ball deep. Alexander Isaac flings himself to the ground, doesn't win the ball, but does get it back there as Real Sociedad are back in position. Vazel to Valencia. Alexander Isaac is in behind. That is a great save that. From Will Lurvik, and that will keep it at two all just shy of the 50 minute mark. We'll just wait and see here if anything comes from the subsequent corner. But Bussero Gay does deal with that. They are still on the edge of the box, but it's a good slide tackle there from Frederick Larson. Nicholas Zimmerman will go back out there, claim position for us. Still two all at the 50 minute mark. And just over 10 minutes off the back of that opening highlight here in the second half, it is another. This time it's a free kick in our favor. We look to play out from the back near enough. To the halfway line, but we do play that all the way back to Will Lurvik. He finds Andy Harwood, one of two wingbacks who have had to come off the bench for this game here against Real Sociedad. Hopefully, that injury to Kenny Boreal doesn't keep him out of Champions League action for too long. Some good work there from Lasana Dumbia, but can't quite put it on target. Still two all just after the hour mark, and right off the back of that highlight, we might have another here as we do have a throw nearly inside the final third of Real Sociedad Harbour, good one too there with Kalen Rakasan, can he square this for someone, plays that back out for Harwood, edge of the box, Nicholas Zimmerman just goes over the bar, that one not too far from just creeping in under it, but it's still two all after 63 minutes, and shortly off the back of those last few highlights down the other end, it is Real Sociedad with a free kick of their own, and they also played that back to their goalkeeper, Kimpembe on the ball, he had a bit of a shocker it's fair to say, in that goal, that second one, we did score in the first half. That's a cracking save. That one, though, from Will Lurvik, that certainly keeps things at two all. It probably should have been three to the Real Sociedad. And the potential goal scorer, Concacao, is able to put the ball into the mixer there. But we do deal with it. We keep it at two all with 25 minutes left. 
And up to the 73 minute mark, we're going to make our last substitution at this time. We've got a few players out there on red hearts, both of our wingers. I think the player that we are going to take off in this situation might actually be Nicholas Zimmerman. He does have a higher rating than Frederick Larson, but hasn't scored a goal. So I think that will be the logic here behind bringing Chakachare on for Zimmerman for these last 20 minutes or so, still locked up at 2 all. And we are in injury time in this game. Not too many highlights so far in the second half. We'll just wait and see if there's any late drama in this one. But that's not too bad of a result there away from home. I think it is fair to say, especially after conceding a goal after only one minute or so. It was actually two minutes there to Kimbembe at the near post. But we did strike back with a double, albeit Alexander Isaac grabbed an equaliser. Not too long off the back of that, most of the action happening. In the first 25 minutes, and not too bad of a result there, as I said, away from home, a two-all draw, and that will be enough to keep us on top of our group here in the Champions League. We'll just wait and see how serious this injury to Boreal is. Pulled ankle ligaments out for between 11 days and three weeks. Hopefully that means he might be back for the return leg in tomorrow's episode against Real Sociedad back in Iceland. But as you can see on screen there, we are actually in a really good position at the halfway point of this group, still on top two points clear of Real Sociedad, three points clear of Leicester and Ross County. Do look like they are going to be the whipping boys of this group. It is fair to say, but we've found ourselves in a really good spot off the back of two tough games in today's episode. A very comfortable win over Leicester City, followed up by a two-all draw away against Real Sociedad. And back in the inbox off the back of that draw in the second game of today's episode. But as you saw before by that group table, we do still hold a two-point lead at the halfway stage of that. So we are in a very good position to hopefully make our way through to the Champions League knockouts for the second time in this save and the second time in the past three seasons. Just confirming Kenny Boreal is going to be out for somewhere between 11 days and three weeks. Our next game against Real Sociedad is 15 days away, so we might recover in time for that one in tomorrow's episode, but he might not either, so it's going to be a bit touch and go there with Kenny Boreal for the return leg back in Iceland against Real Sociedad and something else to consider as well as that Tiago Polo is going to be suspended for that one as well. That means that one of Gaetano de Plisco or Elias Anderson will step into the starting eleven for him for that return game against Real Sociedad as well. That's not too big of a worry though because we have some very, very good depth here at Volsinger. In our centre-back area, and one thing else before I forget like I did in yesterday's episode, and so far in today's episode as well, we do have a transfer budget, of course, after winning the league in yesterday's episode. I just waited a little while because we had to renew a few contracts, most notably Kalen Rakasan, who is on quite a big wage, but our transfer budget for the upcoming season is more or less around the £6 million mark with a £54,000 wage budget as well that we can work with. So we're probably able to get one decent player for that or hopefully a couple of young guys that we can bring through the club over the next few seasons as being homegrown, both club and nation for these UEFA competitions. But we'll get into that when we do get to the end of the group stage of the Champions League and have that big gap in between then and the knockouts, provided that we do make it that far. But already it does look like we should be in a position where we at the very least should be making our way through to the Europa League knockouts yet again, but hopefully we can get to the Champions League knockouts off the back of that very good start to this group stage of this current Champions League season, but that will do it for today's episode, a good win there against Leicester City at home, a really good one in fact, 5-1 and off the back of that, a 2 all draw away at Real Sociedad, if you did enjoy it, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying this series here on the channel, also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well. In tomorrow's episode, I think we're just going to do one game against Real Sociedad, the return one there from that draw that we did just have in Spain, because usually the end of season review does happen right before that fifth game of the Champions League, even though it does say it's going to happen in this current season. So I think tomorrow it's probably going to be Real Sociedad as well as the end of season review to wrap up this week here of Who Civic Heroes, and hopefully with a win there, We'll put ourselves in a very, very good position to get ourselves into the knockouts of the Champions League for the second time. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers.